Hello and welcome. Uh, today we are lowering my RAM. Uh, this is an 03 1500 and we are using the MaxTrack 35 lowering kit. Uh, got the kit here all ready to go. Uh, we're going to start by taking the rear wheels and off and jacking it up. Uh, the way this kit works to my understanding is uh, it's an axle flip kit so the axle is actually going to sit on top of the leaf spring when we're done. And uh, it's also going to have a lifting shackle in the back so that we don't hit our frame with the axle. Um, I'm going to get the truck up and the wheels off and we'll go from there. Alright, so we got the truck up in the air. Uh, make sure to jack or uh, chalk your front wheels because you don't have anything stopping it from rolling right now. Um, next first step in the instructions it says is to remove this uh, old bump stop here. Uh, this is going to be a 15 millimeter, and you are going to need to save these bolts. So I got that off nice and easy, just those two bolts. Uh, it says to install the new one, but I'm going to wait till I'm done with everything else, just because it leaves a lot more room in here. I'm going to get that other one taken off, and then next step is the shock absorbers. All right, so we got both those bump stops off. Next, we're working on the shocks. Uh, these are a 21 millimeter, uh, just two. Uh, Two mounting spots for each, one down here, one up there. So we had a quick little hiccup uh, for this rear shock. You could probably figure out a wrench combination, but uh, I just dropped the spare tire. There it is. Um, anyways, same thing on the as on the passenger side. Just mount down there, mount up there. Uh, make sure just to be careful with it because there are some tabs up there. And mine were all seized up, so they flung around when I hit it with the impact. Uh, so yeah, let's get those off, and then next step will be something. I gotta check the instructions. So we got our shocks out. Next step is to unbolt our axle. Um, just four U-bolts on each side. The instructions say to only do the driver's side first. We're gonna support our axle. I got a motorcycle jack right there. Hopefully that'll work. If not, we might just use our uh, regular jack, but uh, these are going to come off and then the whole leaf spring is going to come out. All right, so um, our U-bolts are undid. Our uh, perch is, our pleat is all uh, unbolted. There's this little uh, locating bolt that needs to come off. Um, but all that is free now on the driver's side. Our axle is free from the leaf spring. What we're going to do now, I'm going to lower the motorcycle jack a little bit and then uh, we are going to remove our leaf spring. Just one bolt there and one bolt back there. And I forgot to mention uh, your U-bolt uh, nuts are 21 or yeah, 21 millimeter and the small nut right here is a 15 millimeter. So both sizes that we used before. Alright, so leaf spring is out, uh, it's just a 21 millimeter once again, and a T55 Torx. Um, I did not have room to fit the ratchet in there, so, or the, uh, the impact gun in there, so I had to use the breaker bar and the ratchet. Um, but leaf spring came out nice. Next step, uh, is to remove our shackle, which is right there. All right, so we got our shackle out. Um, <clears throat> just be careful, don't lose this piece. It's a special uh, nut on here. This is just another 21 millimeter. This nut, or this tab makes it so that this nut won't spin. You can take it out easy. Um, here is our new shackle. Unfortunately, our hole for the Zerk fitting is not tapped, so uh, that's kind of annoying. I guess I'm going to have to go out to the store and get a tap. So with that being said, um, I think this is going to do it for part one. Made pretty good, pretty good amount of progress, um, especially with everything kind of being a little rusty and hard to turn. So doing good. Haven't snapped any bolts. Haven't rounded off anything. So good, good. Uh, I will see you in part two, I guess, when we'll work on the other side and hopefully be able to finish up this rear drop.